Welcome to part one of my trying to break 80 by using everything I've learned so far in my testing the tip series. The challenge is set in People, Scotland at the McDonald Cardrona golf course. Apart from being an incredibly picturesque backdrop, Cardrona produces a real test of championship golf. It all kicks off with a par 5, 506 yards and my simple aim is to avoid the bunkers on the right side of this fairway. Away we go. So with the first task complete we're in the middle of the fairway with another set of bunkers that we need to avoid and with the right yardage I choose five wood which should in theory cover the bunkers and leave me with a short iron into this green. Once again the only thing to avoid is those two bunkers front left so we're going to be on the right hand side of this flag and see if we can make our two put walk off to the second tee with a par. As with any golf course, getting the pace early on is never easy and we've got a fair bit of distance away from the flag. This is all about a two putt, can I get it close? And like I said earlier, walk off with a tap in par. Let's get to that second tee. Mission complete, second tee is a uh, 272 yard par four, which is very short, but severe uphill. And the green is tucked away on that right hand side. My aim again is at those bunkers left. They're playing 230 carry on the full, we're uphill and into the wind. And quite honestly, I don't think I can get there. So far so good and we've got a fairly blind shot left into this uh, green. I've got no option really but to take this flag on because my line into this green gives me no other option. We've just got to make sure we get that yardage right playing uphill. Super wedge shot in and a realistic birdie chance on the second. Although I gave it uh, a good roll in terms of its line, just a little bit scared of that one, came up short, but happy to start off with two pars. So we're two holes in, two pars, and to be fair, quite happy with what is a steady start, but we've got 406, down breeze, downhill. How bold can we be? Oh, do you know what that's another one away and we found the center of the fairway it seems to me like testing the tips is actually working on my game at least you can probably feel a bit of breeze and see the flag we're playing downwind but i hit a fairly flat ball flight which has meant that i didn't get the carry and stay in the air as long as i expected right He's a good bunker shot, or it's the first bogey of the day we're facing here. Come on, and Just get up a bit more. That was heavier than I anticipated. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, my Lord. That would have been a saving grace there for a par. Wow. It's a game, again, an area of the game that has um, improved massively of late. Right, so we make bogey after what was a great tee shot, but after that, unfortunately, it was just a bit of wrong clubbing. Really happy with the way my game is up to now. Let's skip on over to the fourth and see what's up next. Do 
you know what this I'm getting in the way this morning this is 443 par 4 it's going to play long thank god release a little bit downwind right 190 in um I've got a five hybrid which in theory sort of goes around the 180 mark but we're a bit downwind so I think that uh well if we can pick this one up the wind should get us at least to the front okay that's a ah oh, it's just linked to tad you know look at that ah oh, that's a really good strike as well but back in them bunkers and well this time I know what the sand is like so no excuses so it's never easy with a bunker shot that uh, needs to carry probably 15 20 yards or more and uh, apart from the camera lady being on a bit of a time delay you'll see that I landed quite a bit away from the flag um, although a decent effort to be fair and uh, rolled up to a bogey Disappointing from middle of the fairway and off the tee. Right, anyway, next hole is a par five, 186. I think we played a little bit forward of that. Um, I've got a six iron in hand, and um, although it was a decent strike, I knew straight away it leaked out a little bit to the right, and not a great deal to the right, but uh, a well-placed bunker, as they always are. And uh, not overly used to the sort of heavier sand. Uh, splashed this one out quite high, didn't release, really sat down, and uh, again, Decent enough stroke, but a complete misread. I definitely thought that one came in from the right. And unfortunately, it's back-to-back -back bogeys and onto the sixth hole, which is a par five. 513 yards, wind is blowing into us, which I'll tell you now, but I didn't learn this later on in the hole. But got the drive away, um, a little bit higher than I'd hoped it to, and uh, held a little bit in the wind, which left a longer second shot than I'd hoped. I've got five wood and you can see that bunker on the drone footage on the left hand side that is my target line hit a cut off that and hopefully bring it back into the fairway to leave me a wedge right so we've played a number of par five so far and to be honest it's quite generous off the tee um, and i'm not in a bad position got 130 in and really i could do give myself a bit of a birdie chance because uh as you've seen, I've, I've thrown in a few bogeys, almost needless bogeys really, been a bit untidy. Let's see if we can get this one in on the flag somewhere. Oh, come on, be right on the club this time. Be right and sit on it. No, it's not right. It's short, ha, oh, and I thought that one again, I just can't work out the wind, we're in amongst the trees, it's a really picturesque golf hole par 5, see plenty of movements on that green as well, uh, but I'm struggling to work out the wind and maybe thinking about it, I've just completely got that bit wrong because that's into the wind and not down, hence a short, big error in terms of clubbing, we're clearly into the wind, right, greens have been rolling really true, but I'm a long way from the hole so this needs a good old hoof. That's not a bad effort, I don't think. Roll out a little bit more. I think that's pin eye. Right, let's see if we can uh, get back onto that par trail at least. Right, loving the look of this at least. Uh, we've got a, quite a severe dog leg from left to right. How bold can we be? And just how far is sort of a straight line to that rough? We'll soon find out. Right, let's just keep it together. Let's see if we can just slide one round the corner. Oh, that is. That's the best shot of it today. Come on, that's got to be perfect, surely. Well, we'll soon find out. There's some drone footage going over for you now, which gives you a better idea of whether or not my ball is in a good position or not. Well, my feeling is that should be pretty good.
And definitely my favourite hole on the course so far, number seven. And it's probably because I'm sitting in the middle of the fairway and it's a good tee shot, but it's, um, like I said, sweeping dog leg and then into this well protected green, which uh, I've got 140 into. Stroke index one. If I can get on that birdie train now, now is the time to do it. And come on, let's get one. No, I don't want to go left of the pin. Pin high right to do me. Come on. gone left of the pin be right be right oh <laughs> okay so a little bit of luck I said don't go left of the pin went left of the pin but at least I got the right club and we should have a birdie chance on stroke one oh well I think that was a decent effort R4 on my favourite golf hole. We'll take that. Right, eight, a, another really good golf hole. Probably wouldn't go driver again off the tee. Um, I think it's a bit risky, but I've left just over 100 in, and I'm going to go with a 52 wedge, and this time I have got the uh, direction of the wind right, so there's no excuses. Now, this is where the tips come in and see if I can not go long and left and see if I can utilize something that I have learned of late. Oh, and come on, this got to be good. Give me a birdie chance. Sit. Such a crisp strike, first of all, and my little uh, the, the tips are definitely helping my game. There's no doubt about it right throughout, whether it be on the tee or in this case, a uh, wedge in, which I've got guilty of getting in a good position and then going long left. Unfortunately, it was a little bit left, but it's perfect in terms of pin eye and we've got a real chance of birdie. Come on, and. And not hole a putt. But we're giving ourselves chances and we're getting closer. That's another par, but well and truly back on that par train. Right, quick change. We've had a bit of a downpour in the last two minutes since we've flown our drone footage and uh, I got a bit wet. Anyway, can we finish off this nine on a bit of a high? Par three to finish. Come on, see if we can get a birdie in there and. a nice strike if we've got the yardage because that's coming in towards the flag as well kick on one oh it's a bit short ah it's a tad short Right, so that's me done, plus three for the front nine. Relatively happy with the way I've played so far. I'll see if I can continue that into the back nine here at Cardona. So make sure you tune in tomorrow night and see if testing the tips is doing its job. Is it really helping me play some better golf? It's not doing too bad so far. I'll see you tomorrow night.